so guys get ready with me to go to panda mat this is my uh, dress code i'm wearing this this and this on top this is so light and also it's a little bit sunny so stacky cook cool, cool, like so many things this is just the only jewelry that i'm going to wear because i can't even find my necklace and this trouser this trouser my panda this trouser my panda sana 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 even on the one the video that i did on china square i was wearing this and then for the shoes i'm wearing these shoes that i got as a gift as a gift for my birthday this is how the shoes are looking like you can see how the branding is looking like if you want such shoes go and follow my more on instagram and you're going to get this beautiful packaging on instagram so let me get ready and then we start heading out hi guys welcome and welcome back to my youtube channel in case you're new here my name is just amora and welcome to my youtube channel as this title reads today i'm going to be going to panda mart the last time like china square opened in kwa the first one vika i didn't even i didn't want to go all the way all to that area and the second china square i did a vlog on it and i went to it and it was not as hype as the other one and this one it's a little bit it's actually far it's really really far from where i live but i'm just going to see and also it's so hyped it's so hyped and today i think it's the last day of today's the 28th of january and today is the day that the i think the offer is ending i'm going to end jana the 20 percent off but i'm going to see so this is my outfit of the day i've already like shown you like the whole outfit of the day i have a jacket on but i don't want to wear it yeah anyway let's go out and can i mention today yesterday not today today we hit 1700 subscribers on my youtube channel Ooh. Ooh. Yes, <laughs> anyway we hit 1700 subscribers thank you so much kindly subscribe if you haven't and also to my new subscribers can we go anyway let's go because i wanted even to get out of the house at nine but unfortunately season one hour later ten. but it's all good i think one one hour for the traveling because i don't want to like spend a lot of time there because i want by the time at least by one to to Maliza, to my Maliza, and if you are buying something, because I'm I'm hearing the queues are really, really long. So in case you are buying something, we buy, and yeah. Anyway, let me stop rambling, because this is the video of Panda Mart. Let's go, let's go, turn there, turn there. So guys, I was really excited to go to Panda Mart, and also me sitting at the front of the seat, like I that excitement like blew up i was really more than even excited and everything and also for me to get the confidence to film wow guys we are currently at cbd and we are on our way to panama and before we go to panama we need to be well fed i went to take and breakfast like heavy breakfast so we are here at highlights can you please me highlights highlands oh highlands highlands so we are here to take something so that if we can open a serious business of window shopping and probably if we buy something i'm going to also show you but first thing first you are you may order chips masala and i don't want to so that was not just a shiba to a rack and you can pull up plus snacks snacks here and there so that's the point go there with your welfare and just for market you can buy magic so because not want to complain about magic also so yeah but I'm really excited, I'm really hyped, I'm really excited for me to go to Panama and yeah, so I'm going to, maybe the next clip you're going to see, it's a four, four. please subscribe. So this is what we ha we were having. We ordered chips masala. Ken ordered chips masala and tea. Me, I just ordered uh, chips masala. And also from the TikTok videos that I've already I had already seen uh, before me filming this video, uh, one of the pointers that everyone was saying go to Panama to well fed because you don't want to regret like your trip there. Guys, we're finally done with our lunch. Now it's time for us to go to the city to Panama and it's currently I think in 12 so we are going to be very late, even late because of the lunch and also chalo chalo apana pale but it's all good so to be found out like we are opposite to Kwapa Mela Imenti so if you don't know where to 
get your mask let me turn the camera and show you so if you don't know like where to get like the matatu you see that building yeah and then this is where there is in Menti. So up and down is a chukulezi mat, panda metro trans. But if you went to Anganya, but if you went to Anganya, it was in Menti for Yuma, so you can use a selection. And it's 50 shillings from here to Garden City. From CBD to Garden City Mall, it's 50 shillings and also we really enjoyed sitting at the front because you see this whole board, you can't actually see when you are sitting at the back. So that was really a bonus for us and also it's not that far from CBD to Garden City. I don't know for some reason, I thought it was really far. I don't know, any. I don't know, if you ask me, I will just tell you it's like a whole road trip and in just a few minutes we were at garden city guys we have already arrived at this garden city mall now it's time to do like the window shopping and everything i'm really 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 excited so funny. even you can see the logo and everything Ugh. so guys we arrived at garden city mall and before heading to panda mart because panda mart is on the first floor and i didn't know like uh panda mart has like you know where you can buy like water drinks and all that stuff you can see this was on the 28th of january 2024 i passed by carrefour and bought this drink and shout out to the lady who just gave me a chance you know to buy my drink because she had so many things and it was just her and then me and the rest of the counters at carrefour had like more than five people and that was just amazing god bless her like oh my god that was really really amazing anyway finally we arrived at panda mart and my expectation i'm going to tell you what i expected what my thoughts on panda mart and everything because for sure i knew like it had lots and lots and lots of people like people were just coming from like all parts of kenya just to come to shop at panda mart yes to shop at panda mart even i'm very sure people who live at around garden city i'm very sure i will end up today one and wakamalizana nice story so i'm going to tell you my experience my thoughts and also compa uh, comparison between like panda mart and uh, china square and if you hear me talking about china square what I'm saying is about the China Square that I did a vlog on. If you want to watch that video of, or if you missed that video, just go and check one of my latest video and you're going to see and also you're going to do a comparison on the videos uh, on like China Square and Panda Mall. And also what if you haven't gone to any, which mall will you visit? Like which I will like Oh my god i'm losing my words which 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 store is the most pre preferable in my own like you know opinion and thoughts and everything that i gathered that from that place so far you have seen every single things i can't remember the price of um each like uh, stem roses and everything but comparing with China Square, these are more cheaper comparing uh, to Panda Mart, uh, to China Square. China Squares have like similar things and everything. But I will say when it comes to like variety and also the affordability, Panda Mart has it, has it, has it, has it. And you can go and visit China Square and you tell me because you're not going to regret it. Go first to uh panda mat and then go to china square you're not going to buy anything at china square and i know there are so many maybe people who went to the china square at thika um yet to go to that um china square because i know that china square was the first and it was more affordable i think it's like similar to uh, to the one like panda mat i really don't know but i am yet to experience that so let me talk about like everything to do panda mat panda mat as you can see on this aisle it was so disarranged and i wanted a storage box something to be put in my tissue and all that stuff but i was really scared because you can see this storage box is in the wrong aisle or rather the wrong where it's supposed to be people were just doing their own shopping you just take maybe a notebook and then you're going to see a notebook on the, the aisle where they have placed toys and then maybe you see one toy is in another aisle like everything was disarranged so you will find 
the price which is written there it's not the actual price of that item like on this aisle that i'm in currently you can see like everything is kind kind of organized well and you can tell the price but some aisles were really disorganized also another thing that i didn't mention but they as we continue watching this vlog kindly subscribe like this video so that youtube can push my video up and also thank you to the 1700 of you who have subscribed uh to my youtube channel i really got a lot of subscribers from the uh, china square um video thank you so much for joining my youtube channel i really do appreciate you all i'm trying my best to be consistent because i know consistency really really matter so another thing that i wanted to buy is this not until i saw the price it's really affordable to some people but me for that but my like me my money with that just for that it's really good but i really didn't see myself working out with that also they had these piggy banks which everyone was getting and everything so like i was saying so that's one of the things that i uh, mentioned about the arrangement of things you'll just find things not in the same same aisle just mixed up and everything pandamat is one store that you're not going to regret if you go to pandamat trust you me you're not going to regret you going another thing that i really didn't mention is the before getting yourself get uh picking an item you have to really check what uh, the sticker is saying uh for example these storage boxes uh some were just sold individually like just one piece others were just sold like two in one other three in one like you see and imagine you've just picking a storage like box and it's supposed to have like another small storage box inside you know no one will tell you you're going to just just get it and you leave the store like that just like that and they were going as low as to 10 and china square doesn't have this it doesn't have this and you're going to see later on i'm going to show you most of the people had like this on their like shopping cart like they had it on their on their trolleys and all that stuff they had it like i don't know what they are doing with this thing i will tell me down in the comment section below what i can <laughs> store in such an item maybe i may go back for it but currently this you can also use it for uh, like a deco piece or maybe just to store your items and it's a just bonus for deco pieces to all those people who love planning birthdays, baby showers, they want to package their gift properly, you are going to be spoiled for choice. And that's what I'm telling you guys. Pandamat has that <coughs> that thing that you can you can buy one item, but it you're going to to have like what I'm even saying. You're going to choose. <laughs> you're going to have like options to do with colors, sizing um texture and everything it has so many things and also to those people who like you know gifting gifts with proper packaging no stress pandamat is the place i'm re i really envy those people who live at garden city to be honest because i m imagine it's someone's birthday coming up and you need let's say a gift you can get it at pandamat and also you need a packaging like a pa to package like the gift and all looking so presentable and everything it's going to be looking like oh my god you put a lot of work in it but really you didn't it you just know you just knew where to get like you know some items also if if there's a also if there's something that i really like realize that pandamat is way affordable is this uh, letters and words at pandamat it's the price is i think like less than compared to the china square china square have similar and everything but it has like everything to do with the shade the type and every the texture but pandamat it's cheaper pandamat also has like gift wrapping papers china square didn't have that and each and every, I, I trust you me.
you're going to get something for yourself for your loved ones for everyone like they have really really amazing thing one thing that i didn't also mention is that before pack uh, before uh, before taking something from the packaging just check if it's in good quality and if it's in good state it doesn't have a tear or it's not torn or anything because most of the things that i saw at panda not really most some things i saw at panda mat were like they had a tear uh, a tear or they were torn or they were not in really good condition because maybe someone just teared or something like that and then just left it in the wrong aisle and that's what you're going to see some particular things like they were in the wrong aisle and everything but at this point it was around i think one and this is the point where i will have stopped shopping and just go and queue the line because this is the time when the line started you know queuing and everything and also i started being like tired already and even i wasn't even halfway there i wasn't even halfway there this store is not that really big comparing it to china square china square is really really big it's really spacious and china square the one at karen but this one it's not really big because china square has like a and you need two floors not one floor like panda mat but panda mat has variety of things and unique things that you can get you can buy some things and someone will be like you little happy like where did you get that thing and if you check my cart you're going to see the some things that i'm showing you here and there that i picked and also for me personally i didn't see like their glass section is unique or anything or classy i don't know is it me i'm a ninini but these are just basically things that you can get at kamkunji but i don't know if the price point because i've ne not been to kamkunji for a very long time but also when it comes to utensils and all that stuff they have some really unique things like that coffee um what do you call that thing it's really i think it's com comparing it to the online one it's really affordable and also their 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 utensils are really unique and also you're going to see like you you are like literally spoiled for choice i don't know how many times i will say this <laughs> in this video but these also are some of the items that i got these two things which i was really really happy <laughs> to get them at china square these were just 30 bob 30 bob for only these i be imagine china square and get a 50 bob or maybe 80 shillings but for 30 shillings yes please yes yes please please this is just a reminder for you guys kindly subscribe down below like this video comment and if you didn't watch this china square video please uh go and watch it i'll really be happy like i'll really be happy if you do that one of the things that i wish i did when i got to china square i would have just told ken you go and you know start queuing and then me i do the shopping but me i wanted company i really wanted someone you know to go each and every aisle we see things and all that stuff but i really don't regret it because he also experienced what i experienced in a different way maybe depending on the taste and everything or expectations because me personally my expectations were met and i expected to be really tired but not this tired like i was also another thing that i realized some things that i saw on tiktok videos i really didn't see them at pandamat just not because that they didn't have but because people had shopped earlier i don't know if it's the previous day or the same same day that i went and they had they had shopped and the uh, cuts were just left layering around and they hadn't like you know the workers hadn't like returned the items to the same same place so i really wanted this specific spray bottle but when i went to the aisle it didn't there wasn't like any any spray bottle like bottle that i wanted the one that i saw on tiktok so that was like 
a bummer but it's all right it's okay this next time or maybe i will find another one somewhere else but that's one of the things but also the storage containers is it containers storage boxes that i showed you earlier the the vintage kind of things when we were living on that aisle uh when we were not living when we were getting to that aisle we saw like one of the workers refilling and everything she was just refilling from what uh people have taken and everything and like i told you some of the items that had like some tears and some tears one of the items is hangers if you took like a hanger from panda mat and you didn't check it properly especially the velvet one this camera is not showing properly but the velvet one maybe or possibly maybe ulichukua imet kararuka kidogo like this red one had like a tear the 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 blue one had some tear and all that stuff and that's why kenyans on endanga zanyuma that's why also the uh one of the, the the things that also they had it's electrical things like flat ions um uh, uh what do you call it flat ions uh microwave fridge all those that you're going to see on the screen cookers uh uh iron box and all that stuff to start maker they really had and also on this aisle it was kind of empty some aisles i didn't really show you but this video i recorded when we were, had already started not we were planning to now start um queuing and let me tell you if i didn't have the patient or if Ken dot wangena pekiake, then we would have even purchased anything. This is also another example that I was telling you about. This is in the wrong place. This is fifteen hundred, but I think the initial price is five hundred. So imagine if it's in the wrong pricing, and then you go and purchase, and then you see like home call you out did I not carry? But you you had budgeted for one thousand and everything. So that's what basically I was saying. Also, another thing, if you like really shopping online and all that stuff, just go and visit Panama before you make a purchase because I'm very sure you're going to save a lot, even minus the transport. Trust you me, one of the items that I saw if I bought at um, Panama, like this one, I had bought like a similar shoe rack and I had to return it because I really didn't like how strong it was. And also it was, it didn't have like the best uh joints because the joints were plastic and i felt like that will not hold properly so that's one of the sales that i saw and also they were really much affordable they were like i think minus maybe to the 200 300 and that's money to save in this economy even if you save a hundred bob it's as like it's something good but basically you can see like the shoe rack the um, clothing rack that they had and one of the items that i saw i've been seeing online it's this one and i'm really surprised on how like uh strong it is i thought that they are they are not that like, like strong you know there are some things that you order online and then it could disappoint and you feel like you have wasted your money and everything like this one it wasn't that steady but i feel like maybe the person who like uh who assembled it didn't do a really great job this was really steady and it's a really nice and unique and simple shoe rack that you can use this i'm definitely going to get it next time or i'm actually going to be planning to get this because it's really nice and it can use especially for your sneakers not your heels because i don't know how you're going to place heels over there if you have a salon or maybe you have maybe somewhere you, like your kitchen and you like such things this is really nice for your kitchen this black storage things and also this is also something that i've seen, seen online and it's kind of the same as online but more affordable and you can get a lot you can see this aisle is almost empty one of the things that i really thought <laughs> i really didn't buy is this one but it's really cute i was looking for the price in this angle over there it's really cute it's a nice storage container but you can see it doesn't have the price and also the price which is 
stuck there maybe you're not even sure if it's the price so one of the things that i will do it's just go again next time and um see whether i can find now things when they are nicely arranged you can see people had left their cards all over the place this is the queue this is the queue we thought we thought that the queue was like you know five queues because i think there were seven tellers is it seven cashiers i can't remember how many they were but we thought so we were going to check which uh queue has the least people surprise surprise it was one queue and the, this queue is really really long and no and mind you people are not purchasing one item two items no they are purchasing multiple items and i wish we did the uh the thing that i told you when we entered one person to queue the other person to just you know go and purchase things one of the the people who were behind us did that and they saved a lot of time and they weren't tired as us as we were going me personally i was going any opportunity i get sitting down i will just sit because i was tired i was just feeling like but i really wanted the things that i've picked i wanted a specific thing i wanted uh, hangers and i really didn't want to go out like you know to just give up because of just a small queue this was longer even longer than the uh, the election line that you go and to vote our leaders it was longer this seat i don't think anyone was even testing at it to see the seats were if they were comfortable people were just sitting just to relieve their pain from their legs and it was just something else and these are the footage that i was taking as i was queuing the line because this was in the entrance and i decided let me just show you guys you know some fridges because they have also electric things and all that stuff wow that hen <laughs> anyway every like this panda mat have everything i don't think i have left anything uh like i have missed anything to tell you guys but is it worth it to go all the way to panda mat yes it is yes it is a hundred percent and you can see the queue the queue was something else like <laughs> we are really patient people at the end of it all we were done they had to check uh like the receipt and everything but we are done and here is just to say thank you so much for watching and i'm going to see you on the next one love you all